the preparations, uh, the, the, the plans that have been set up will hopefully um, work out very well. Uh, athletes were supposed to leave tomorrow on the Virgin Airlines flight at 10 o'clock in the morning. But this morning it just struck me after I talked to some of the athletes that after a whole day of competing, to get to Accra on time to join a 10 a.m. flight would have to leave here at midnight on a bus. After a day, it wasn't fair to them. So I basically told them that I was going to try and change the plans. And unfortunately, Virgin doesn't fly on Sunday. So we've moved it to Monday now, and it will give them a couple of days to unwind and get their muscles to relax before we put them on a, a seven-hour flight to, to London. But hopefully on Monday, we'll get to London in the evening. There will be, there'll be bus to um, Plymouth to the Olympic Games uh, training camp and they'll be there for three weeks prior to the Olympics. It's a good place to acclimatize yourself and uh, prepare your minds and your palates for the kind of food that you'll have in London. Good place to sort of get used to the British weather. I mean, people don't know it, but it rains a lot over there and it's useful that you have three weeks in that kind of weather to familiarize yourself before you show up at the Olympics so it doesn't catch you by surprise. But all those things have been um, arranged. Uh, yesterday we paid for the accommodation and feeding over there, so that's been taken care of. The flights have been taken care of, and so hopefully, God's grace, everything will go well.